Hello, and welcome to the Out of the Sandbox video guide for the Flex Theme Vertical Header. The Flex Theme includes four different layout options to choose from for your header. In this video guide, we're going to go over setting up our Vertical Header option. The Vertical Header can be seen in a couple of our demo shops. In our Moda demo shop, our Glow demo shop, and our Studio demo shop. In this video guide, we're going to specifically go over how to set up the vertical header as seen in our Moda demo shop. In order to choose the vertical header style, you'll need to go into Customize, click in the Theme Settings, Layout, and under the Header setting, you're going to choose Vertical. Once you've done that, you can head back into Sections, Header, and set up your vertical header here. The vertical header gets set up by adding content blocks. So at the bottom of these header settings here, you'll see content, add content. If you click this add content button, you'll see all the options that you can choose from in order to set up your vertical header. The options are copyright, icons, logo, navigation, payment icons, search form, social media, and text. So I'm going to start off by choosing a logo to set up at the top. By default, your store name will show up as the logo until you select an image. So I'll just select our logo here for the Moda shop. Within the logo content block, you can also adjust the width. So it can be from 20% and go all the way up to 100%. The next content block I'm going to add is the search form. The search form will appear as a rectangular box here with the search icon on the left, and then your users can type in their queries here. The specifics of the search can actually get configured under theme settings, search, you can choose your search results to uh, display just products or everything. Back into the vertical header settings, uh, the next content block I'm going to add is a navigation. So here's where you can choose your menu. By default, uh, the main menu will appear. However, you can change it, remove it, or edit the menu. You can also specify um, colors for your navigation as well. So by default, they'll just pick up the colors from the theme wide color settings. However, you can adjust the background color if you'd like, the links, and the links hover color as well. For right now, I'm just gonna keep them as default. So I'm just gonna click none for all of these color picker settings. So they'll revert back to the default colors. Once we've added the main menu, you'll now see that promotions and clothing both have these mega menus that are attached to them. You can enable mega menus in any of the four header options for flex. When you enable mega menus for the vertical header, they also remain vertical and you can just scroll through them to see the content. In order to set up the mega menu, you'll actually go into theme settings, Mega menus, check off the amount of mega menus you want to enable. Once you've done that, under sections, there will be a couple of mega menu sections here that you can go into and configure the settings. We actually have another video guide for Flex that goes over the mega menu, so I'll add that link to the description for this video. The next content block I'll add to our vertical header will be the icons. So within the icon block, um, the cart icon will show up. The accounts login icon will show up as well if you have that enabled in your Shopify admin. And if you'd like, you can optionally show the search icon as well. There's also this style setting here, so you can choose to show the icons as just themselves as you can see here, text. So instead it'll actually have the words login and cart for the account login and the cart. 
or you can choose icons and text. So that will show the icon with the text below. After that, I'll add the payment icons. So whatever payment providers you have set up under settings, payment providers, if you enable the payment icons in the header, those will then display there. After that, I'll add a text block. So in the text block, you can add in a heading and you can add in a text paragraph here in the text field. This is a rich text editor, so you can bold, italicize, or insert a link into the text. So we'll just see what text we have here. And I'll add that in the text editor. There we go. So looking at our vertical header now, it looks like we've set it up exactly how we have it in our Moda demo shop. There's just a couple other settings in the vertical header I'll go over. Um, so a couple more content blocks here. You can add in copyright text. So it'll show the year, your shop name, the designer credits and powered by Shopify will also display. If you don't want those showing though, you can check them off as well. That'll hide them and it'll just so show your um, store name and the year. You can also add in some additional copyright text here if you want some more text to display. You can also add in um, social media icons as well by clicking the social media content block. You'll see they're all showing up there now. In order for the icons to display, you'll just need to add them under theme settings, social media. So once you add in the links and add them as a content block in the header, they'll then show up for you. And you can add in even more content blocks of the ones you've already added. So if I wanted another menu, I could just add in another navigation content block. If I wanted some more text, I could do that as well. In addition to the content blocks, there are a couple other options at the top of the header settings here. There's an alignment setting for your text and icons. So you can either choose left or center for the alignment. And underneath that, there are these advanced options. So if you're comfortable and familiar with coding in CSS, you can add in a brand new CSS class in this field here and you can add in your own custom styles in the custom CSS field. You can also target an already existing class um, and just apply new styles in the custom CSS field. But for now, I'm gonna add in a new CSS class and then target it in the custom CSS field. So you'll see that that just added a border on the right side of the vertical header, just a black line there. So if you're familiar and comfortable with coding, you can do quite a lot with the custom CSS fields. I'm just gonna remove the custom CSS and go over the mobile layout quickly. So in order to view the mobile layout, you can just click the mobile icon at the top of the screen here. You might need to do a refresh of your page as well. So you'll see that the vertical header has updated to be this horizontal bar on mobile. So you have a hamburger menu that has your navigation in here, the mega menu is still there as well. You have a logo, the search icon, and the card icon. There are actually some mobile specific settings under theme settings mobile. So you can choose a specific logo, adjust the width, you can change the logo position from center, left to below header. You can um, choose the icon position. So this is for the hamburger icon. It can be on the left or join the search and the cart icon on the right side. Um, you don't need to display the search icon. You can also hide it if you'd like by unchecking show mobile search icon. You can also choose a specific icon style just for mobile. So on the desktop, we had 
icons and text, but right now it's just showing icons only. And you can also um, configure some mobile navigation color settings in the color pickers here. So you can choose mobile navigation background, the opacity for the background, um, color for the navigation links, and mobile navigation links hover. So if I wanted to make some adjustments here, I could do that. And then you'll see that our colors have been updated in the mobile navigation here. So now you're set up with a vertical header as seen in our Moda demo shop. If you have any questions or run into any issues, head over to help.outofthesandbox.com for a ton of resources to help you on your way. Thanks for joining us on this video guide. Have a great day, folks.